first we're gonna go ahead and start her treatment with mega purifying cleanser we always use this as our first cleanse to remove any dirt oil and debris from the skin so that when we go in with our second cleanse we're able to truly clean the skin Here at Glymed Plus, we always do the two towel method, and this is to ensure that we remove all residual product on the skin. If your client is claustrophobic, you can open the mouth and the nose area so that they don't feel enclosed. For our second cleanse, we're gonna go in with Gentle Facial Wash. This has 10% glycolic acid, so it's really going to help to lower that pH of the skin, clean deep into those pores, and prep the skin for their treatment. This is a foaming cleanser, so you will wanna emulsify with water to create a nice foam, and then really work it into the skin for about one to three minutes. Start by prepping her skin with our AHA pre-treatment solution and you want to make sure that the skin is nice and saturated with the prep. Okay, You want to make sure that all of this pre-treatment gets into the skin and what this does is it's going to go ahead and dissolve any of those fatty acids and ceramides and truly allow an even penetration of the chemical peel. So prepping the skin is very important and should never be skipped. This is just as important as applying the pill properly. So make sure you saturate the skin and then we're gonna let it sit for about a minute or until it's mainly dried on the skin before we go in with the chemical pill. This does have 14% salicylic acid, 14% lactic, and 14% resorcinol. It is very common and should be expected to see crystallization with a Jesner, but not frosting. So you can see we're starting to get uh, crystallization on the skin and this is the whitening that's happening here. This is not a frost, this is crystallization. It is a chemical reaction between salicylic acid and oxygen. Um, the difference and the way to know is I could wipe this white, uh, whitening of the skin away. Um, with Jesner you can do up to four layers. I'm going to go ahead and apply her second layer so that you can see a true solid crystallization with the Jesner. You can go over crystallization. We always feather the jawline to prevent any demarcation. So with a Jesner, you don't go below the jawline. Um, you can slightly feather, but we don't want to apply the peel to the neck and decollete. And the reason for that is uh, resorcinol can be systemic and we don't want to possibly increase the heart rate, heart populations, or cause any systemic properties to the Jesner. So we always keep the Jesner above the jawline. You can do a neck and decollete treatment with lactics. They're fabulous. I love the lactic 30. And then we do use a little bit of TCAs, but lactic acid is per our preferred chemical pill for on the neck and decollete. For the post-treatment, we always finish with Living Cell Clarifier. This has natural tyrosinase inhibitors and anti-inflammatory properties. And Fulvic Elixir. This does contain fulvic acid, which is incredibly healing to the skin, delivers nutrients to help repairing and healing the skin, and also reduce inflammation. Our last step for our post-treatment is our Cell Protection Serum. This drenches the skin in humectants, ceramides, and fatty acids, everything the skin requires to be healthy. And then we seal in all that moisture with Daily Repair Mega Moisture. This does have onion bulb extract, 
which will help to heal the skin and prevent scarring and has antibacterial properties perfect post-treatment.